So this video with Michael, Bridget, and Dove. <laughs> I mean, I gotta be honest with you. Um, right off the bat, I'm just gonna sit there and say that I don't feel like this video is even real. Um, now, you know, throughout the whole Angry Grandpa videos and stuff like that, none of the videos I don't think were real. The only thing that was real was, um, you know, what was going on with Angry Grandpa and his passing. But everything else that involved what they did, you know, the pranks and stuff like that, I mean, just like the, well, just the regular and smashing stuff and all those videos and in general, they were all fake. And, um, you know, the same problems that I had with, um, Jesse Ridgeway is the same problems that I have with, um, Michael and just all of them in general. So, when I watched this video, you know, th this whole thing just, <laughs> there's just so much wrong with this video. You know, um, the fact that Bridget's dad, Doug, is just bashing the living hell out of them on YouTube for, like, fucking clips and views. Like, who does that to their daughter? Who does that? Who fucking does that to their daughter? You know, you're going to sit there and, and bash your boyfriend and, and you know, bash her and, and stuff like that and, and bash angry grandpa. You know, the, the guy passed away and you don't even have the courtesy, the respect, the decency. To just be like, you know what, let me just fall back on him and I'll just sit there and attack the other two or whatever for whatever odd fucking reason. I mean... Well, let's be clear. If he could sit there and talk shit about his own daughter, I mean, everything else is fair game. But, um, you know, the shit that he said about his grandpa was just like, wow. Um, but again, is it real? You know? When Michael got to the house, um, he knocks on the door and stuff like that, and Doug doesn't answer the door, um, for a little bit. And then Bridget, you know, knocks on the door or whatever. And, um, you know, she found, you know, he finally answers the door and he's like, what? And, you know, Michael was like, you know, listen, you've been talking shit about us for like a good nearly a year, six months or whatever. And, you know, they're just like, why? You know, Michael's just like, why? Why are you bashing us? Like, you, <laughs> you bash your own daughter for clicks and views. And, um, you know, Doug is like, well, you got between me and my daughter, this, that, and the third. And, you know, they, they go back and forth. At one point, Swift is hold, holding the camera. And Doug starts to launch at Swift or whatever. And it's like trying to hit the camera out of his hand. And Swift is getting all scared and nervous and everything like that. And, it, you know, it, he, I mean, they argue back and forth. They curse at each other back and forth. Um, you know, in this, in this video, you know, you got... Doug Smith there talking about how his daughter and Michael are beasts and stuff like that and you know all they do is order fast food so now you know now you see why they look the way they look and um here's the thing my issues here's the thing my issues with um kid behind the camera really started after um angry grandpa um passed away and the reason why I'm saying this is because I felt like, you know, after the whole thing happened and, you know, he kept the channel going, it, I felt like it was more, and this is just my interpretation, I felt like this was more of, you know, him trying to get sympathy so that way he can get more clicks and likes and money from YouTube, okay? That's, that's exactly how I felt like in every video that he would sit there and do, it would always be about sympathy from his fans and his subscribers and stuff like that, and just really taking advantage of the people that actually, you know, watch his channel. And to be honest, I felt like that was pretty fucked up. Like, there was one, there was one video, and this is the reason why I really just stopped watching this channel. And I only watched it because I was watching something about, um, Jesse Ridgeway. This is the video that I was just like, all right, I'm done. I'm unsubscribing. I had enough. This was a video where they, the beginning of the video, 
it starts off with Bridget just standing there, bawling her eyes out in front of the camera. And um, Michael being there, he looked like he's all sad and upset. And I'm like, what, what is going on? And, you know, Bridget explains that, you know, they were watching This Is Us. First of all, if you watch a lot of episodes of This Is Us, or if you watch This Is Us, unless you have no families, you're going to bawl your eyes out regardless. But, um, you know, this, I guess this was like maybe the first season or whatever. And they were spent there explaining like, you know, some guy that had, um, Inga Grandpa's condition passed away. And, you know, it just made us, you know, relive the whole moments and stuff like that. And they're just like, they're in camp, you know, they're on camera, they're in front of camera, just like, you know, crying and bawling out their eyes. And I was like, all right, you know what? You guys hit peak for me. I'm done. I'm out. I can't, I can't do this anymore. Um... You know, just that level of taking advantage of people. Like, listen, here's the thing. I'm not going to sit there and, um, like, what happened to Angry Grandpa was very sad. Um, it, it, there's just no words that I can, I can sit there and even describe about that situation. Um, which kind of leads me into some other stuff. Um, which I'm going to kind of talk about, unfortunately, because I just kind of just need to get this shit out. Um, during this whole thing with your grandpa when you start getting sick and stuff like that, you know, I kind of look at it, there's two sides I look at this whole thing. Um, from one side I look at it, you know, this is angry grandpa, knowing that he got a lot of fans, he gets a lot of fan mail and stuff like that and um you know he wants to be there for his fans he wants to sit there and you know he loves the fact that his fans support him and love him and, and care about him and stuff like that and that is a great thing especially when you're going through um something as um as hard as as what he was going through um so i get why he still wanted to film why you want to be on camera and just you know, being there for the fans and, and things like that because, you know, that is the kind of guy that he was. Um, and no one's perfect, but, you know, the, he had a good heart. And um, I, I, I deeply respect that. Um, he went to be there for his fans, so he was on camera and stuff like that a lot. And that was, that was great, you know, on, on one hand. On the other hand... I felt like, listen, just because you do YouTube and you want to share your life and you want to share your experiences and things of that nature, that doesn't mean that you have to share every single thing. Um, there's certain things that is private and you should just have them private, you know, unless it's the people, you know, the people closer to you and your family and stuff like that, but it should just be private. And this does this doesn't even go to... You know, this isn't even just about, you know, him filming during the whole sickness part and stuff like that, you know, because, you know, a lot of people can sit there and look at it, and even me to some extent can kind of look at it, to an extent, um, as him showing, you know, what Angry Grandma was going through, and just using that as a way to get more views, get more likes, um... And, and stuff like that and just get more money from YouTube, you know, just using that as as a way to um you know get more stuff from people, you know, just take advantage of his his fan base. And that's just something that um that really disgusts me. That just fucking disgusts me. Period. Um there's just I, I can't even think of another word because it's it's just fucked up. It's just beyond fucked up um that he could sit there and, and he was filming him for a while and you know you watch some of well he probably took it down now but you know d throughout the later half when he really started getting bad and he just kept filming him it's like you know just because he may have wanted to be filmed doesn't mean that it was the right thing to do and I felt like he should have kind of just made the call to be like, and he did after a while, after a while. And this is when it got really bad. After it got really bad, he just stopped filming him. And, you know, he just would talk in the camera and stuff like that. And he wouldn't film him anymore. 
but I felt like he should have probably had done that sooner. He should have done that sooner. Um, I partly feel like he should have done that sooner. Because I know it was his call. I know it was Angry Krimbaugh's call. But at the same time, you know, there comes a point in everyone's lives when, when you have parents that, you know, the child becomes the parent to an extent. And just because he may have wanted to do it doesn't mean that you shouldn't necessarily let him do it. You know, you should just make that call. Um, and granted, you know, again, this goes way back to the whole when he was he was married, um, filming stuff like that, filming the arguments, filming their divorce and stuff like that. Now, again, um, if their marriage was real and their divorce was real or whatever, certain things she probably shouldn't have filmed. You know, certain stuff he shouldn't have filmed. Now, I get it. Maybe that was his way of dealing, processing with that type of dynamic. Just being in that environment was must have been stressful as hell. You know? So, I can't... To some extent, I can't knock him for if that was his way to... You know, his way to escape. His way to make a little bit of money and just to escape. But at the same time, certain private moments should just be exactly that. Private moments. And, um, you know, and Greta, he even said so in one of his, in one of his, um, one of his videos, like, you know, maybe I shouldn't have actually been filming all that stuff with my parents and stuff like that. And I'm like, mm, yeah, 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 you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have done that. Now, I know I'm kind of going back and forth a little bit, but pretty much, again, that whole video just does not seem real because they talk, they curse at each other. You know, it gets to a point where, um, you know, Michael gets up in his face and, you know, both of them's like, don't do it. He's not worth it. Blah, blah, blah. The video ends and, um, Bridget's just like, you know, listen, now we try to, um, solve this thing, you know, to just kind of squash it. But, you know, it seems like Doug was just more interested in YouTube than, you know, fixing his family. You know, and she just says, you know, it's a good thing that I didn't bring my daughter there and, whatever then they hug they do the super fucking sad music and then they walk away they get in a the car they drive and you know honestly tell you the truth again you know when you build up your channel based off of a lie anything that comes out of your mouth at this point is fucking questionable at best you know it's questionable at fucking best you know and it's the problem with like channels like his, channels like fucking McJuggernuggets or Jesse Ridgeway is that when stuff happens serious, you know, it's just, you know, the saying of, um, boy, cry, boy cried wolf. Um, you just don't believe him. You just don't believe it, you know? And, and that's, it's funny. I, I kind of want to do this, you know, when I started doing YouTube, I kind of want to do this video for a while because, again, I used to sit down and watch all the angry grandpa videos a lot of them a lot of the you know him breaking stuff i mean my favorite one today is the um is the playstation one that well the playstation one and when he lost the candy um th there's a video where i guess and grandpa's looking for his candy and michael's like i don't know where it's at and um you know and your grandpa just starts tearing shit up he just starts like obliterating <laughs> I know I probably shouldn't use that word because I commented on somebody else who constantly used that word but he just destroys that fucking refrigerator and it is the funniest fucking thing ever now you know people love that hell I loved it and even though that his videos were fake they were entertaining but you have to sit there and remember something that you're you know there are some clueless people that don't know if they're real or fake you know um and you're taking advantage of people, you know, you're getting people to subscribe to your channel and you're doing all these different videos and people are liking and people are commenting and, you know, YouTube is pay paying you money and it's all built on a fucking lie. Um, you guys sit there and think like, damn, man, this is, this is the way to sit there and get money. Just start fucking lying to people now. Like that's, that's what's cool. That's, that's what's in. <laughs> like, again, call me old fashioned, but I do believe in this thing called integrity. Um, anyway, um, this video, 
got into more of a rant about why I stopped and don't really like um, Kid Behind the Camera or Michael, Bridget. And the thing is, here's the thing. I don't hate them, okay? I think that they're people um, that make videos and, you know, they're entertaining. But, um, you know, at the same time, it's... Like, I'm trying not to bash them because I don't want to be one of those people that just sits there and just bashes them because they're terrible people and blah, 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 blah. But, I mean, I can't sit there and say that they're good people because they, you know, their channel is based off of a fucking lie. And, you know, no matter, no matter what video that comes out, it's just, you don't know if they're telling the truth or not. Um... And plus, I didn't really like their intro. I'm going to be honest with you. Their intro was just so fucking annoying. I mean, I know it's their intro and it's their little cute thing or whatever. But it's just fucking annoying. And they didn't used to do that in the beginning of the video. So they would just have the camera on, do a prank or whatever, do a vlog or whatever it is. And that was fine. Then they just started doing these stupid fucking intros. And it would just get annoying. It would just get annoying. It would be annoying as shit. Plus, um, I'm not going to lie, there was some shit that just annoyed me during some of their videos. Because they used to always show Bridget at an up angle. For a while, for like six to eight months, they would show Bridget at that angle. And it would just annoy the shit out of me. And it would be, you know, even coming back and thinking about it, would be like, yo, listen, if you are not going to be in the video the right way, just don't be in the fucking video. You know, I get it. You know, you gain weight, you're embarrassed, you don't like it. I, I totally understand that. And people on the internet are fucking mean and cruel as shit, especially YouTube. I get it. But this whole showing that up angle shit, it, it was annoying. It was, you know, and a lot of people sit there and come like, why do you always show bread at a fucking up angle? It was annoying. And I just want to kind of get that off my chest. But um, I don't think ill will of um, Bridget and Michael. Um, I do wish them luck in whatever they do. I sincerely fucking do believe that I just I don't know I'm not really a fan of theirs um and I just felt like they you know they took advantage and they still do take advantage in some way of their fucking subscribers you know and it's fucked up it's wrong but you know it's the internet and you know everyone has an opinion you know people like his content and it is what it is so I'm gonna go on this note and um to stop rambling because I can probably just keep going on and on but that's just my whole take on this whole Bridget and Doug and Michael or kid behind the camera or whatever the fuck he wants to call himself I guess he used to call himself pickle boy some dumb shit but um yeah so have a good day good night depending on when you're watching this video be safe all that good stuff and I will catch you in the next video